All right, we're going to tackle a series of questions about angels, sin. And the first question, they're, they're all going to be categorized together kind of in this one video, but the first question asks, are angels capable of sinning? Well, the answer is yes, because they rebelled against God. That is high treason, and God cast them um, out of their rightful place in heaven. But then the follow-up to that, they asked, does any sin, sin send them straight to hell? And the answer to that question is no different between angels and humans. God's standard to stay in his presence, to be able to live eternally in heaven, is 100% moral perfection. So anything less than that, which means any sin, means you're no longer acceptable to remain in God's presence, or the way that this question words it, you now deserve hell. So the same is true for humans. This would be true for angels. Any sin, one sin, no matter how small it is, little white lie, stealing the grapes from the produce aisle of a store, that sin ultimately deserves eternal punishment. It's true for the angels. It's true for humans. But there's a couple of follow-ups to this question that I think are really important. So the follow-up is, did Satan have free will to become conceited and the pride that made him rebel against God? Well, the answer to this must be yes, because Isaiah 14, verse 12 and 13 describe it is Satan's deceit, his pride. Even 2 Timothy describes it as pride that led to Satan's downfall. So yeah, there must have been some kind of freedom there so that he could have enough arrogance to believe that he could literally take over the throne of God and kick God out of his own heaven. Here's another question along the same lines. Is their free will, is the angel's free will part of the conditions God created for Satan to be able to rebel? And this one, I have no idea. I don't know that the Bible gives us any information on this other than to say when Satan, if we are going to say Satan had free will, then it was either part of God's explicit plan, his explicit will, or is it, it was at least part of God's implicit will, his permissive will. So how did that work? When did that work? What did that look like? I don't have any information about that. Don't don't even know where to start with that one. 